The Oregon Education Association belongs to its members. I have a point of personal privilege. We are over 46,000 members strong, whether in the bus barns, the hallways, front offices, community colleges, front of the classroom, at the student desk, parent meetings, conferring with our colleagues, or working alone at night. We know best what's happening in our schools. OE has a great deal of influence in the public education arena. Probably of all the educational organizations I can think of, it's the one I think of first. OEA is right there and they take a leadership role, they have tremendous courage, your leadership has tremendous courage. From my perspective, OEA is a phenomenal partner. The organization has integrity, um, has influence, um, and has smarts. We watch what's going on and we know when we need to mobilize members to make a change. That's our strength. Every April, hundreds of OEA members gather at our representative assembly to determine the direction for the following year. At the Representative Assembly, we elect our Executive Committee, including the OEA Vice President and President. OEA is this incredible network of educators that are all working together to see that public education in Oregon is as good as it possibly can be. Together with our families, OEA members make up over 5% of the voters of Oregon. That's a margin that decides elections. Politicians know that and count on our votes. OEA members decide OEA's political recommendations. OEA members run its committees and councils. OEA members hire the OEA executive director and elect our NEA representatives. OEA members elected by us make up our board of directors. For two days each year at the Rep Assembly, we get to meet and confer with fellow members from across the state in a variety of professions. You are passionate, relentless, fearless, and awe-inspiring. And this morning, walking around the caucuses, it was incredible to hear the debate to hear the passion, to hear the desire to make this state a better place for our children. We get to recognize each other for the great work we do for public education. And we see how we're making a difference for public education across the country. We need you to be the disciples that go out there and tell these folks, if it were not for OEA, this place would not have a chance. But sometimes, my friends, you'll say, I got to go sit down. But before you say, you're not going to get back up again. I want you to remember this. When things go wrong, and they sometimes will, and when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, OEA, rest if you must. But doggone it, don't you ever quit. Peace and power to you. <laughs> My name is Reed Scott Schwalbach, an OEA member and educator from the Centennial School District. And my name is Jada Pearson, OEA member and educator from the Beaverton School District. And we're here to share with you about the OEA's Rep Assembly. Are you looking for a strong way to move education forward in Oregon? I think we have to start looking at the big picture. My question is, isn't this the normal process for, for petitions? If you're in bargaining, you don't want to tie a hand behind your back. You know, I don't mind Paul withdrawing his motion if, if that's what he wants to. Uh, it was one of the first times I've actually agreed with Paul. But, uh... Then, becoming a delegate at OEA's Representative Assembly is a great quick way to make a difference and establish what your association will be doing for the following year. This is my first time um, at the microphone. And you're doing a great job. <laughs> I love the RA each year. It can be challenging. It can be exciting. And we certainly have tons of fun. OEA members know what's important to education, and RA delegates are not shy about voting or speaking their minds about these important issues. RA? RA is a big deal. It's dramatic on the floor, it's dramatic from the podium. It's great to recognize members for the great work they do. And it's flat out fun. RA is constructive. It's for setting a direction. RA is where we can set our goals and our mission. RA is about moving education forward. RA is also about what you bring with you. If you've got a project or a plan or a direction for your Oregon Education Association, bring it to RA and make it happen. Walt Hellman, Hillsborough EA. Fellow delegates and members, uh, for 15 years, 
we've been absorbing more and more budget cuts by taking on more workload to help kids. Every time we accommodate yet another budget cut by taking on more workload, we prove them right, that we can take the cuts and it doesn't hurt anybody. Now I know there are great things going on with new members across this state. This committee would only strengthen that and build upon that. Please support the creation of a new member committee. So if you're interested in becoming a delegated RA, contact your local association president. It's a great way to network, to make a big difference in a short amount of time, and you'll have fun. Thanks for your time, and we hope to see you at the next RA.